so here's a problem old guys trying to use computers right so I do okay when I have young people around but essentially uh, I'm loading the mount tune tune on my new IRS and uh, they've made a few changes so it's supposed to run on 91 and and um, so I'm I tried this on my own and I'm kind of proud of myself it, it doesn't take an expert obviously uh, so they send me an email uh, my smartphone or the other computer and the email has some changes that I've asked for and then they I take the email and have somebody load it on the uh, they use the Cobb access port Mountune does um, and when we get this on the, we plug it in to the OBD port and we wait um, we wait for it to take the old tune out store it and then we put the new tune in sometimes this takes a while so we have a battery charger in case it takes too long and the battery goes dead that would be kind of a bad thing when the battery goes dead halfway through loading your uh, engine tune so um, I, li I really like Mount Tune when I, I spent some time in England and they've always had a really good conservative tune lots of power but no failure so I always go for like the 90 percent fix which is uh, you know not max power but reliability just like we talk about stay on the road don't break the car that's my number one thing while when I'm tuning an engine I don't want to go max power right away I want to get it so uh, it's reliable so that's one reason I like Mount Tune very reliable and they have uh, such an appreciation for Cobb and making the access port and it's so simple that even an old guy can use it so um, it's kind of exciting for me to start doing some of this stuff on my own because uh, once again I'm not gifted with computers so I'm finding that I don't need to be with this mount to it's going to make it more crisp, but for me, my needs are a little different being a rally driver. I'm not after max tune. There's things like when you let off the gas, uh, the engine doesn't slow down right away. They call it their shift. Uh, it helps It helps you shift, I suppose. It also maybe um, it's a little cleaner, maybe not so many emissions, but when I'm trying to link corners together, I'm going from a left into a right, and I give it a quick flip of the throttle. It kind of messes me up if the throttle doesn't shut down right away. So they're changing that a little bit. Um, and also, uh, there's some other little things like when you break in the middle of a corner, uh, the car doesn't always like that, so uh, they have a way to adjust for that. So the brake boost option is uh, a little bit limited. And uh, there's a few other things that, uh, some engine lights that, that come on, uh, like I'm trying to test it on the street car, but it's eventually going to be the rally car. So when we disconnect the evap system on a race car uh, it's going to leave a light on and this can shut off the light um, it can make some changes uh, for example um, there's other little um, little items that make it so it's not as easy to drive when it's slippery um, I'm hoping that some of these little changes will will make a big difference on the RS as far as drivability um, in tricky low grip situations <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.